Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Ranjit K. Alphonse, licensed counselor psychologist. Today I am going to talk to you about introvert, extrovert and ambivert. Let's check into the video. Introversion and extroversion levels are part of a single continuous dimension of personality. Most of the personality can be measured somewhere between two extremes, introversion and extroversion. The most adaptive personality traits have ambivert because they exhibit both introversion and extroversion depending upon the situations. It's possible to develop the abilities from the opposite side of the spectrum with mental training. For example, a highly introvert person can learn how to manage in large groups and highly extroverted person can learn how to work alone and reflect. Friends, Carl Jung suggested the principal distinction between personalities is the source of direction of an individual's expression of energy, defining extroversion as an outward turning towards the libido an introversion and inward turning towards the libido. The interest of the introvert is directed inwards. They think, feel, act that suggested the subject is the prime motivating factor. Extroverts on the other hand direct their interest outwards to their surrounding environment. They think, feel, act in relation to external factors rather than the subject. An ambivert is someone who exhibits qualities of both introversion and extroversion and can flip into either depending on their mood, context and goals. An ambivert can be called outgoing introvert, antisocial extrovert and social introvert. Friends, how do you know if you are an introvert? Introverts are typically perceived as reserved or reflective. Advantages of being introvert are the abilities to reflect, to be alone and work independently. And it is considered that introverted persons might be successful as artists, writers, scientists, music composers, inventors and similar professions where the abilities of strong reflection and independent work are mandatory. On the other hand, introverted persons have a several weak spots. They usually have problems with teamwork, socialization, public speak and might not be successful in professions that demand extroversion. For example, politics, show business, teaching, becoming a doctor, etc. Friends, how do you know if you are an extrovert? Extroverts tend to enjoy human interactions and to be enthusiastic, talkative, assertive and gregarious. Extroverts are energized and thrive off being around many people. Advantages of being extroverts are abilities to socialize, to work in team, to present oneself in public. Extroverts might be successful in show business, politics, medicine, teaching and similar professions that demand teamwork and interaction with many people. Weak sports for extroverts are the ability to work alone, and sometimes they are not able to reflect, introspect and to understand themselves. Extroverts are usually absorb other people's emotions and thoughts and might be more sensitive on insults and defamation of character. Friends, let's now see the characteristics of ambivert. An ambivert is moderately comfortable with groups and social interactions but also they can relish time alone away from the crowd. In simpler words, an ambivert is a person whose behavior changes according to the situation they are in. In the face of authority, 
and in the presence of strangers the person may be introverted however in the presence of family members and close friends the person may be highly energetic and extrovert ambiverts have the ability of adaptation to many different situations they might be theoretically successful in all professions of course depending upon their talents but they do not have any problems in the personality traits for any type of professional life they are able to manage in large groups but also able to survive in social isolations ambiverts is the most adaptive and are stable combination of introversion and extroversion dear friends having spoken about introvert extrovert and ambivert how do you analyze yourself where do you stand do let me know in the comment section if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family thank you